I, I request Radha uh, Swami to start. Uh, good afternoon to each one of you present here. Uh, in Indian culture, any good deed is started with the prayer. So today we start this webinar with the prayer. Rotrikunda Mahakaya Shurya Koti Samaprava Nirvignam Kuru Deva Sarva Kadeshu Sharvada Welcome all of you. On behalf of the SMC College of Dairy Science, Kambana University, Anand, I want to also offer my regards to all the people joining us. I convey my regards to the President of the day, Honorable Vice Chancellor Dr. Anish Kedavala sir. Thank you so much sir for accepting our invitation. I convey my regards to the Chief Guest of the day, Mr. Minish Shah sir. Thank you so much sir for accepting our invitation and joining us for the webinar. इंटरनेट सर नेटवर्क इश्यू है थोड़ा नहीं कोई मैडम थोड़ा स्ट्रिक्ट है ऐसी कोई बात कोई हार्म नहीं करेगी बट तो आप ही करो ना कोऑर्डिनेट हेलो इस्तिया Sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to the all speakers who took out their valuable time and joined us today. I convey my regards to the President of the IDEA, Mr. S. P. Agarwal sir, and Vice President of the IDEA, Dr. I. K. Thani sir, and Mr. Ramesh Chuk sir. Now, I am very thankful to Indian Dairy Engineers Association and Dairy Engineering Department, SNC College of Dairy Science, Kamdhani University, Anand, for organizing such an important webinar on digitalization in milk procurement, processing, and marketing under Azadika Amrut Motsa. I would also like to offer my regards to all the people who made this webinar functional. Now I would like to call upon Dr. J.B. Upadhyay, Principal, uh, Principal SMC College of Dairy Science, Sam Delhi University, Anand, for the welcome address. Good afternoon to all. I welcome all of you to the national webinar on digitalization in milk procurement, processing and marketing. At this onset, I am thankful to our Vice Chancellor Sir, Kamjan University Dr. N. H. Kelawala Sir, who is always a pillar of support and continuously encouraging us for various activities. He has tried a lot to join this particular webinar because he is out of the station, but he could not join it. So he has given his best wishes for the success of this particular webinar. I welcome our chief guest, Sri Minesh Sasar, Chairman, National Dairy Development Board, Anand, in this webinar, who is also our alumnus and thankful for accepting our invitation to be a chief guest. I welcome all eminent lead speakers, first Sri Amit Vyas sir, <coughs> Managing Director, Amul Dairy, Anand, who is a very dynamic and enthusiastic person. He is the person who has implemented this particular digitalization in the Amul Dairy. I also welcome the second lead speakers, Dr. J.V. Parekh, sir, who is a Mumbai-based international consultant to dairy and food industry. He is also our very senior alumnus, who has a very wide experience of the global dairy industry. And also I welcome the third lead speaker, Dr. Prasant Gorakh Vasnik, sir, Associate Dean College of Dairy Technology, Pusat, and having the additional charge of Dean 
फैकल्टी ऑफ डेरी टेक्नोलॉजी महाराष्ट्र एनिमल एंड फिशरीज साइंस यूनिवर्सिटी नागपुर इन दिस नेशनल वेबिनार इन दिस इंपॉर्टेंट नेशनल वेबिनार आई हार्टिली वेलकम इंजीनियर सुमेर चंद अग्रवाल सर प्रेसिडेंट आइडिया इंडियन डेरी इंजीनियर्स एसोसिएशन एंड फॉर्मर एडिशनल मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर मिल्कफेड आई ऑल्सो वेलकम डॉक्टर आई के साहनी सर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट इंडियन डेरी इंजीनियर्स एसोसिएशन एंड फॉर्मर हेड डेरी इंजीनियरिंग डिविजन एन डी आर आई करनाल एंड इंजीनियर रमेश चुग सर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट इंडियन डेरी इंजीनियर्स एसोसिएशन एंड एक्स सी जी एम हरियाणा मिल्क फेडरेशन आई ऑल्सो वेलकम ऑल द आइडिया मेंबर्स एंड पार्टिसिपेंट इन दिस वेबिनार आई वेलकम द ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द वेबिनार डॉक्टर इश्तियाक हुसैन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डेरी इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एस एम सी कॉलेज ऑफ डेरी साइंस आनंद state mc college of dairy science is the oldest and recorded college established in the year 1961 over the years the college has produced well qualified and competent dairy professionals these professionals by their pursuit for excellence depth of knowledge and honesty of purpose have brought laurels for themselves and repute to their alma mater today we are very fortunate to organize such a useful national webinar on digitalization in milk procurement processing and marketing under azadi ka amrut mahotsav celebration india in the world's largest producer and consumer of milk milk producer in the country is expected to continue to report strong growth in the foreseeable future talking about digitalization it is already playing a vital role in the dairy sector and is expected to become a critical aspect in the near future from farm management which includes the using the technology to monitor the cattle health and productivity to milk procurement comprising automatic automatic milk collection systems and bulk milk collection system digitalization is everywhere the dairy sector is characterized by high cost sensitivity and mass production while innovation innovative packaging and a growing variety of flavors are increasingly shaping the market to meet all general and customer requirements digitalization is providing the dairy industry with new ways to optimize the entire value chain i thank idea and faculty of dairy engineering department of the college for selecting such a topic for webinar i am thankful to dr nh kelawala sir honorable vice chancellor for being the motivational force behind the organization of this webinar and giving the necessary approvals for the same i am thankful to sri minesh sah sir for accepting our invitation to be a chief guest and join to us i also thank all the eminent lead speakers for agreeing to share their views on the theme of the webinar once again i welcome one and all and wish this national webinar a grand success thank you very much thank you so much dr jb upadhyay sir now i would like to call upon mr s p agarwal sir president idea and former additional managing director milk fed please sir address the gathering unmute kariye sir unmute good afternoon everybody this is my pleasure to be part of a second webinar of indian dairy engineers association as a part of series of webinars under the heading engineering self reliance in dairy industry in the august presence of uh, honorable vice chancellor sri anish kelewala ji who could not be uh, who could not be part of the seminar for the time being due to some technical reasons and sri munish shah ji chairman nddb who has very kindly agreed to be the chief guest for today's webinar friends indian dairy engineering association came into being in 2002 with the sole efforts of our first president sri mm majal ji who is uh, no more with us and presently we have more than 300 life members of our association the basic and prime idea of idea has been to spread and share current knowledge and experience in the field of dairy industry in general and dairy engineering in particular today's webinar on the subject digitalization is well thought of uh, subject by the organizing committee for which they deserve lot of uh, appreciation and congratulations because the experiences experiences shown by amul in particular that lot of savings lot of uh, efficiency can be incorpor incorporated in the system by uh, having digitalization digitalization particularly in the field of procurement all the speakers 
for today's webinar are highly educated, experienced, and fully equipped to justify the subject. Uh, I am failing in my duty if I don't remember Sri Manish Shadi, my association with him during the time of my uh, period in the day, uh, Milford Punjab, when he was at heading the project division. Uh, he has come to a position where anybody can uh, dream of. It is a seat where person like Dr. Kurian has been sitting and I, 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 I feel that he is uh, doing the full justice to the chair by, by his presence in most of the uh, seminars, webinars and other meetings and very, very, very competent and uh, uh, experienced what you call this participation uh, in, in all these activities. Sir, with your presence, the status of our webinar has increased manifold. Thank you very much for the same. Uh, I'm also thankful to other speaker, Dr. J.V. Parikh, sir. Uh, very supporting and very excellent speaker. And uh, he never says to any any of our activities, uh, really thankful to him. The third speaker for today is Dr. P.G. Vasnik, sir, Dean College of Dairy Technology, Fursat. Sir, uh, thank you very much for being part of this webinar. Uh, now I request all the participants that uh, they, they must enjoy the webinar to their uh, full because uh, such opportunities rarely we come across and uh, in the end they may clear their doubts by asking questions. Thank you very much for the uh, webinar. Thank you, sir. Thank you, S.T. Agarwal, sir. Now I would like to call upon our Chief Guest, Sri Minish Shah, sir, Chairman, National Dairy Development Board, Anand. Sri Minish Shah, sir, is a dairy technologist from SMC College of Dairy Science, Anand and holds a postgraduate diploma in Ruler Management from Institute of Ruler Management, Anand. He has a multi-dimensional experience in the dairy sector from more than 35 years. He is also the chairman of Mother Dairy Fruit and Vegetable Private Limited, Indian Immunologicals Limited, IDMC Limited, NDDB Dairy Services, Anandalaya Education Society, and Animal Breeding Research Organization. He is also on the governing, governing boards of Irma, Vidya Dairy, National Cooperative Dairy Federation of India Limited, and Foundation for Ecological Security. We are so honored to have him as the chief guest for the today's webinar. Please, sir, kindly share your thoughts to all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Agarwalji, for your very kind words. And uh, I too share the same experience what I had with uh, you know you when we worked in uh, Milkbed. So thank you once again, uh, Dr. N H Kelawala, Honorable Vice Chancellor of uh, Kamdenu University, uh, Dr. Uh, Upadhyay, Principal of uh, SMC College of Dairy Science, Sri Shumir Agrawalji, President of Indian Dairy Engineers Association, all the lead speakers, uh, Sri Amit Vyash. Dr. Parekh, Dr. Vasnik, uh, Dr. Soni, Sri Ramesh Chub, and uh, uh, Dr. Istiak Chauhan, uh, and also the other panelists. I think uh, I feel really honored and delighted to be amongst you in this webinar on digitization in milk procurement, processing, and marketing, jointly being organized by Dairy Science College and uh, IDEA, Indian Dairy Engineers Association. As we all know, uh, digital technology is uh, shaping our history. History. And yeah, our yeah. world is rapidly shifting from analog, uh, which we used a long time back, to the digital mode. And according to uh, the United Nations report, I believe digital technologies have advanced more rapidly than any in innovation in our history, reaching around 50% of the developing world's population in just, uh, I think, last two decades. And this is leading to transformation of uh, societies and also transforming the way we all live work and conduct our businesses. So uh, coming back to our dairy sector, I think one of the largest and fastest uh, growing industry uh, in our country, uh, nobody uh, has any doubt. And uh, it is contributing significantly, not only to our economy, but also providing ample uh, livelihood opportunities to millions of rural milk, uh, milk producers. So one of the biggest challenges for our sector uh, is obtaining and processing data on a day to day basis. You know, we all have experienced those who have worked in the industry and utilizing this data for 
achieving maximum efficiency in in each of the business function so whether it is procurement processing storage or even distribution uh, all the decision making will uh, depend on how best we can uh, make use of this data therefore i think the process of digitization is already under uh, way in our uh, sector but it is expected to become a critical aspect uh, you know in the coming uh, future over the years uh, uh, our industry has built supply chain platforms customized workflow solutions i think we have sales force force automation now uh, we have built management solution plant automation uh, platforms like scada and and also the sales tracking uh, platform uh, this is to acquire data from multiple sources and use the data to optimize our business operations however if you see the opportunities for uh, the digitization in the uh, sector uh, it continues to be immense especially uh, you know considering greater adoption of emerging technologies such as uh, now we have artificial intelligence internet of thing cloud or even the blockchain technology and as far as the uh, milk procurement operations are concerned digitization can be a means of ensuring fairness and transparency in the milk procurement operations and we have all seen the importance of uh, transparency and fairness unless we do that we will not be able to build that trust what the industry uh, has towards the farmers in the recently concluded uh, national dairy plan uh, you know it was a central sector scheme which was implemented by ndb we supplied more than 30000 automatic uh, automated milk collection units and they were installed at the village level for creating this transparent and fair milk procurement systems uh, going forward we have also developed an open source uh, application uh, for the amcs and it is uh, free of cost we are giving to all the cooperatives who want it will help them to digitize entire operations of village dairy cooperative societies and more importantly ensuring direct milk payment milk bill payment to the individual uh, bank accounts of the milk producer i think this is one of the requirement which all the cooperatives working should ensure that the money or the milk bill is transferred directly to the bank account of milk producer operations uh, in terms of 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 the dairy plant it require multiple activities such as uh, collection procurement of milk its processing then producing variety of uh, products packaging marketing and now there is a requirement of even warehouse warehouse management and inventory control so digitization across this uh, dairy value chain can help us in improving the efficiency and which will ultimately help all of us uh, you know with the ultimate objective of maximizing the returns uh, to the milk producer for example i think now we have use of uh, data loggers so in bulk milk coolers uh, we are installing data logger loggers which can help in better monitoring of chilling operations lifting of milk from the dmc centers and uh, and also the various critical parameters of bmc so if bmc is working not working there any shutdown all those cases can be reported with the help of data loggers and we introduced the data loggers under again under ndp1 and we provided to many cooperatives another aspect is the quality of milk uh, throughout the procurement supply chain it's very very uh, critical we all know uh, it help us to meet the uh, standards which are uh, there and now we are uh, we are developing gps trackers with appropriate environmental factors like temperature humidity so you can uh, monitor this uh, kind of uh, factors and it will be very useful for ensuring the milk quality the dairy industry also requires refrigeration and temperature controls i think uh, you know reliable controls and advanced we have seen the advanced hvac systems for factory storage it can be employed with the objective to ensure optimal environmental parameters uh, like temperature and humidity to ensure the quality compliance many dairy cooperatives and also the private players have now already started investing in plant automation using plc and scada i think they can further integrate the environment data and energy consumption data with this uh, plant automation platform and in this regard i think iot can help in combining uh, input data with the analytics uh, which can improve the efficiency of the plant automation such uh, dairy plants uh, will also ensure complete traceability of milk right from the stage of the plant entry to the final uh, 
uh, dispatch uh, as the finished product and it will help the plant managers to trace out the you know causes wherever there is some issue they can immediately uh, correlate it with the any market complaints in this regard can be correlated uh, if we have some data for its rejection or acceptance uh, today with i think availability of digitized uh, report the coordination between dairy procurement processing and marketing teams has improved a lot i have seen in many cooperatives you know just a whatsapp message and immediately they all can uh, see the report and find out the cause and the synchronization is far better as compared to uh, you know the earlier time so digitization with the help of new technologies within the supply chain integrated approach i think could also help monitor and control critical processes uh, that will influence the food safety and uh, quality and ndb in uh, this regard is assisting dairies in implementation of uh, internationally recognized food safety management systems uh, leading to iso 20000 or fssc 22000 uh, distribution and retail formats i think uh, they will also witness a lot of innovation from the digitization perspective generally we call uh, products like soap or toothpaste you know we say they are the fast moving uh, consumer goods you know fmcg but if you really see uh, uh, nothing uh, in the fmcg you know moves faster than milk and milk products so i don't know <laughs> what uh, definition you give to milk and milk products because it is the i think fastest moving consumer good uh, unlike soap and toothpaste and any other uh, product and uh, Uh, milk along with all these value added milk products are highly perishable in nature and if uh, if we don't uh, handle uh, them very properly i think uh, we all will have a tough time so uh, it calls for a very strong and efficient distribution system i think some of the cooperatives like amul and uh, verka they have already uh, you know demonstrated the kind of distribution system uh, they have it will ensure timely supply without uh, compromising the cold cold chain and uh, having real time data on stock availability in the market uh, daily demand uh, variations they are all uh, uh, critical for planning of production as well as distribution and digitization is helping all these uh, operations to the uh, dairy plants the we have seen the daily fluctuations of dairy products uh, you know it's unlike any other product again if you compare with any other product you will find that these variations are very high uh, in the milk and milk products and to add on this challenge most of the dairies they uh, do not have data beyond their primary sales so uh, they just bill to the wholesale distributors and they don't have uh, data about the retailers or the consumers so digitization has this potential to address these challenges uh, to a very great extent and it enabled systems at various levels as i told maybe at retailer level or distributor level or logistics and marketing it can ensure assimilation of this data required to address uh, this challenge amazing the digitization of sales uh, you know mis can address uh, you know lot of these challenges with logistics and demand estimates maybe on a daily basis uh, it's possible uh, another area where we are working is the erp system we have uh, developed an open source uh, erp system and we are now helping cooperatives to make use of the erp system uh, developed by ndb we are offering free of cost again to the cooperatives so in the organized dairy sectors uh, i think sales are made through a vast network and mapping of these outlets uh, can help there is to identify the gaps and again in uh, in this uh, aspect uh, we have also launched the dairy surveyor app again developed by uh, ndb it can be used to map this kind of challenges and dairy being a mass consumption product i think tracking the consumption pattern and changing uh, consumer preference are also critical uh, for making timely marketing uh, decision so uh if we see the consumer preferences they are moving towards now post covid uh, to a safe and healthy healthy products uh, it, they are also guided by the social media platforms and therefore i think it will be very critical to understand this changing trends uh, to ensure the targeted uh, marketing uh, in the end i think i would say that digitalization of various functions uh, as we are deliberating today for procurement processing and marketing will optimize the cost of dairy operations it will also shorten the uh, uh, you know the go to market uh, time 
and cost and thus our products will be made available at a right place at the right time and to the right consumers at a very competitive uh, competitive price and therefore going forward i think we all should uh, focus on our efforts in improving the access availability and management of this new it based applications and tools which are available for the concerned uh, stakeholders in our industry i once again thank the organizers for inviting me and i am sure that today's deliberations will add uh, to the intended objectives of enhancing digitalization of the industry thank you all once again thank you agrawal ji once again for your nice words thank you thank you so much sri minesh sir sir we are grateful to you for accepting our invitation and becoming a chief guest of today's event before the so, uh, further proceeding uh, all the participants are requested to send your query or any question in the chat box during the technical session now i would like to call upon dr ik soni sir vice president idea and former head b division icar ndri karnal for inviting our lead speaker sir anmut sir anmut sir sani sir is it okay now yes sir yes thank you brinda our most valued invited guests honorable dignitaries learned speakers and fellow delegates of today's webinar good afternoon to all of you and welcome to this second session of idea webinar webinar today friend in today's world digital transformation is essential in transforming the business as well as education the common goal for its implementation as per the words of our worthy chief guest dr shri minesh shah ji is to improve the efficiency in all aspects to improve the services to reduce the cost and to innovate for the competitive advantage moreover in recent covid pandemic the demand for this digitalization has increased several folds in dairy industry it based process management is already opening up enormous benefits yet we are to low go a long way to realize the potential of digitalization in the full chain of milk procurement processing and uh, marketing in today's webinar we have three eminent lead speakers from industry academics and consultancy who will share with us their expertise valuable experience and views in this area as a first lead speaker we are having with us shri amit vyas ji the managing director of amul dairy anand prior to joining amul he has served banas dairy at palanpur sumul dairy at surat and ndb mumbai he is a board member of several eminent institutions such as irma vidya dairy tribhuvan das foundation and andalya education society an instrumentation engineer from pune university and having pg drm from irma he has multi dimensional experience in dairy sector on project management appraisal automation and above all the digitalization of village level cooperative societies vyas ji's presence and wise word would magnify the cause of this webinar in the best possible way we now invite shri amit vyas ji to deliver his talk on digitalization in milk procurement and give his valuable inputs to the delegate participants shri amit vyas ji please join us sir sir thank you very much so uh, as we are in the 75th year of our independence and celebrating azadi ka amrit mahotsav uh, a webinar on digitalization in milk procurement processing and marketing uh, as a chief guest today by, and my dear close friend uh, shri minesh chaji who is the chairman of uh, ndtv uh, president dr n k kelewala ji the chairman dr j v uh, upadhyay sahab who has been continuously pursuing and following up for me uh, for this program uh, and my co speakers also dr jv parekh sahab dr pg vasnik ji and uh, the president um, uh, mr sumer ji and vice president um, dr saune ji and dr chuk ji and uh, mr chohan who is organizing um, uh, secretary uh, i really appreciate um, uh, being an engineer and uh, very nicely coordinated uh, indian dairy association engineers association and dairy engineering department smc a uh, dairy science college kamdhenu university who is uh, organizing this uh, program so uh, as we all know yes uh, digitalization is key as a minish bhai already laid the foundation for uh, right from the milk procurement to the processing and to the marketing so i would try to touch upon only the milk procurement side where amul has been able to do lot of innovations and uh, digitalization that has helped in uh, improving the transparency uh, the accuracy of the data analyzing of the data 
trying to understand the problem faced by the farmers at the village level, how to communicate when, them with the digital way. So all those things that whatever we have done uh, in, in Amul Dairy would like to share on this platform. To start uh, with this, uh, uh, just to have a brief idea for the, all the participants and I also uh, um, uh, would like to share that uh, many of the people have joined online. So uh, Amul which is uh, dairy which is almost around, um, we have now 47 units across the 13 states in the country and have been handling almost around 5.2 million uh, liters capacity per day and uh, the good thing is that we cross 10,200 crores worth of turnover and with the milk procurement of 150 crores and uh, the good thing is that on the fourth of because of digitalization why i'm sharing this is uh, because of digitalization we've been able to uh, you know declare the um, the final price for the farmers on the 4th of April, this is for the first time in the country's history in the dairy sector that the, the final prices have been declared on the 4th day of closing of the year on 31st of March. So as I said with uh, this, we have now units all across the country and when you are at multi locations across the country, uh, across uh, Maharashtra, Assam, Bihar, West Bengal, um, um, uh, anywhere in the country. Uh, the biggest challenge for us, the biggest challenge for us is uh, uh, is that how do you monitor these um, uh, systems across uh, the country? And that is uh, one of the biggest challenge uh, for for the um, entire team. You know, when you are you if you are right now, we have got operation in Andhra Pradesh, Assam, Bihar, West Bengal. Uh, so everywhere we have got operations. Uh, so the most important thing is that how do you get the data from here and analyze and control it from the center? Because having um, so many people working at the field and so many farmers connected. So we thought of the entire system and uh, as we say the entire Amul chain that is C to C we call as cow to consumer and B or B to C we call as buffalo to consumer. Uh, if you see the entire value chain which Vinesh Bhai Saab has already touched upon right from the village level cooperative societies to milk union to federation to depots, distributor and retailer and finally consumer and also the key from where the raw material is coming that is input of the input services don't do that our animals the good thing about this in amul dairy is that this entire value chain across the organization has been digitalized today when sitting here we don't have any news any any paper in the entire network of 47 plants everything has been digitalized now when we talk about digitalization you can do it in the plant you can do you know have the most technically best plants available in the country but how do you manage see the parameters of the production or the processes can come in the in the digitalized form in the system but what about the system for management of that entire system that is what like for utilities uh, like for your, your services like administration you talk of services like milk procurement you talk about services about veterinary services uh, if you talk about uh, where your people are moving in the entire network so many people are moving so how do you manage and integrate these kind of system that's where the digitalization plays a major role so if i talk about this i'll be only touching right now only the digitalization what we have done in the village level so the first thing as you know in the if you see our value chain the input services so we started from that side and we said the first thing is that we should have a software for ear tagging of the system so today amul is having you know we are parallelly working this is a then you can see the tag over here which has got a barcode so with this we can directly we have registered all the all the animals across the ml side area 100 percent tagging has been done so we have got a software for that you can direct the person anybody can you know when the doctor goes over there the vrp goes over there or the or the ai worker goes over there they have to put up the tag without which nothing can happen in the entire system so that's what the first thing which we did and you can see almost in a one more than 1.1 million tags have been done across the uh, animals then comes if you have the tag what can be done so we develop a call center what you see here is the amul days call center only and whatever screens you see here are all the screens that have been developed and they are the live streams which are happening right now in the organization so what we did the first phase was to have a call center 24 by 7 where farmer can call and book the book the uh, visits for their for the service required for the doctor but then over a period of time we realized that how how big call center can be so then we immediately shifted now for the last couple of months we have now mobile uh, you know the farmers we have given application for the farmers they also they can they can directly use that application and then uh, uh, register their register their call in the system and what what is the advantage of the system is that today we don't have any case paper being required by the doctor to give it to the farmer nothing this is your, own, uh, uh, your visit time because it is all been digitalized once the call registered in the system it directly goes to the, to the concerned doctor uh, who is on the move 
and all those vehicles are gps controlled so we know where exactly the doctor is which is the shortest distance we always say that in amul that 108 would not reach but our doctor would reach to the uh, to the to the animals so for the treatment of the animals and the good thing is then when the doctor goes over then try to treat, treat that we also have a lot of lend information uh, with the survey with the russian balancing program excellent program run by nddb this is now we are trying to incorporate in our system itself and at the same time what is the milk procurement survey if you want to do the lab tanks testing report everything is been done through this so we at this juncture in amul dairy if you ask me that in andhra pradesh in that particular uh, kadappa district if this village if this farmer is making what he is making it to the to the to the animal we would come to know so that's the beauty of the system and then you can realize that now we are linking it with the rashan balance program so entire network has been digitalized in the the, the first phase for the veterinary service the second was the ai you know that was a though a lot of ai was going on but what we said that it took us almost 9 months to do only three cooperative societies but now 100% village level cooperative societies all 100 uh, almost around 300000 poorer members are digitally connected to us and they are these are the screens you can see what they are supposed to do they will just open the app on that app they would find whether they want to do uh, ai of uh, ai of a cow or a buffalo that's all just select it okay and we come to know in our system that he requires the message directly goes to the ai worker online and and the ai worker would reach there at that let, let log position and he will do the artificial insemination so the beauty of this is that the farmer also gets a message that you have been registered if he has been done he also gets the information that it has been done after 65 days or whatever 50 days he also gets whether whether you want to get it checked for the pregnancy or not the beauty of the system is today we can tell you in anand uh, in sitting in amul dairy in my office that how many calves have born today how many calves have died today how many calves have been sold today so you have the entire information with the kind of database we are now developing an algorithm which will predict the quantum when they become you know the mother but these these many calves have born in the entire district in particular period of time so the beauty of this digitalization at the field level is that you have the right data which is authentic data and you are supporting the farmer you know if you miss one ai we say that 11000 is the loss to the farmer today now with the cost increasing of cattle it goes to 14 or 15000 so here we are now integrating everything uh, with the, with this so that farmer can be benefited we have the right information we call as amul pashu a seva app which all ndtb also has a uh, 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 gopala uh, app also there the farmer can book with CP, cbcc or ai through the android application that we have now the biggest challenge was to make these farmer use this app today i am very happy to share that ai 100% is now ai is on on the app application whereas almost 25 to 30% farmers have shifted from call center to uh, the application the next target is to see that 100% they shift so it's not easy but we have been training them we going to give a lot of information to them to make them as i told you once you have the uh, entire information of ai so we also have done a mobile application for online calf registered program so this is done by federation but now today we we once we know this calf has born so you have the next step is to have a uh, calf rearing project which is integrated to it and on the screen what you see is based on that the biggest challenge in the industry today is that the loss to the farmer is only and only because of the Uh, mass strategies of brussels is and all those things so now we have made a software you know how initially we made a software and tried to do that now we have done a different thing we have now put up almost more than 1100 machines which are pet snf testing machines are been installed at the village level from there for one week individual farmer data less than 8.2 per uh, snf percent of snf we are transferring that data to the village level person in a package in a digital form and that village level person goes and sees to that particular animal and the farmer visit that farmer and he would identify whether this 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 animal has mastered this or not so that's the biggest thing which we have done we have now started doing brussels testing and all those things with a digital strip digital strip i talk of digital strip when we can have covid uh, strip why can't we have strip for all those things so we have already done i talk to you about in the later in the presentation so on registration front yes we also have the vaccination this is a key key to the success so today already enough is there but we also have our own system uh, for veterinary doctors and field staff who can directly do the research the turn around that we are doing in the industry right now you can see this all those belts now are reality we were talking about this you we are with fitbit in your hand how much you have walked what is your pulse rate whether whether you can to take an ecg on it but now we have to install till date almost 2000 digital health tracking system and the first phase we are covering 10000 animals and you can see that you can predict actually the data is coming to the farmer on his mobile and also to our call center directly that this animal is get get into a heat 
and this is the your the AI worker has to go and do the AI. Two days before we would get an information from this, the doc, the the farmer also gets and we also get in call center that yes there is a problem. Two after two days, this animal is going to be sick. So we are already asking the farmer to go for uh, for the doctor visit so that we can. And let me tell you my experience in couple of days for last two thousand tagging which we have done. Today also we have got a big program here to make them educate how to read this uh, software. Is uh, no doubt we are also reading, but we want them to read it and they can take a call according to that. Is that excellent response and the farmers, you know, if it's getting unhealthy after two days, we they come to know before that and they have said a lot of you know they uh, take care of their animal. Uh, as we do the digitalization, we also started working on the sorted sex semen based on the digitalized data. Where we realize why we I'm talking about this sorted sex semen or digital platform is when we digitalize the AI, we started to came to know started to come to know that 65 percent of the male calves were boning. So that gave an indication. All of our doctors were talking that no, no, sir, it is 50-50 only. But over a period of time, we realize that 65 percent of the male calves again they go for curling or they need the, the farmer is is not getting the benefit of it. So that's where we started uh, sorted sex semen technology with the price of only 50 rupees. And today you can see this target for this is a very very 2.5 lakh, um, 250,000 uh, uh, AI which is sorted sexy men we are going to do. We have educated the farmer. It's on digital platform. And you can see here is a truck which is a digitally integrated truck which costs almost 25 crores and we have brought it on rent. And this truck has all the world class facilities installed in the lab wherein you can generate. This is a road station where we have bulls. So we are segregating and sorting the set, um, um, uh, the semen, and then the entire data is available with the system that which farmer is getting which growth of which uh, animal. So this is the beauty of that, and you can see almost more than three thousand calves have have, uh, have registered, and you can see a local here double milk production. Here also we find a double milk production. That's what our target is. In couple of uh, next five years, our milk production will go up by almost double because now we are getting a growth of almost fifteen to twenty percent of the growth in the milk procurement area. And you can see the the normal dose would give you 38 kg, and we are got 58 kg. The beauty of digitalization by using this technology at the field level will give you 100% result. I would like to thank uh, Minish Bhai Sahab, uh, whose support has been tremendous in the second part, that is embryo transplant. So I talked about digital uh, beds, talked about sorted sex semen. I'm talking about embryo transplant. The country we did almost highest uh, embryo transplant in the country, and today we are having more than 133 calves. Across the organization, which are very high genetics. Now they all have been digitalized. You understand that we have the history of everything, right from the semen, mother's milk, everything is available. So this is going to turn out, and now we are taking this ET to to along. We are working with Tamil uh, with NDDB to take this into the field level now. Uh, the next thing is that when you digitalize this. All these farms, these are all photographs of Amul. Huh? By the way, there's no nothing from uh, outside country. These are all of Amul farms, which we have. This is the new one which we have created for the uh, the calf. And these are also all digitalized. You can see uh, the air duct. It's like an air conditioned room for them to to there because it's a high genetics uh, animal which we have developed. So when you digitalize your animals, you have you need to digitalize all the next steps. How they are moved, how much they are eating, what much water is going. All those things also needs to be. Digitalized. You can see some some of the things here. These are all our farms only. We have now got fans. These these fans records the data of how much. If you have one, two, three, and five, six fans here, with one fan you can take care of these animals. So how you can bring down your cost? That's more. You can find a rubber mat over here. So now even the requirement of double mat, rubber mat, or a fan is also digitalized. That's what I'm trying to share here. It's not that today I'm showing you the photograph of a fan. Here the system is that. Each and every farmer is utilizing their their application for their requirement is also being used, digitalized at the farm level. Then you you can see now the most important initiative you can see the doctor from NDDB and our chairman also visited. Uh, now we are taking so much of initiative in the in the buffalo segment and you can find that uh, with the data coming in from the field. Now uh, we have almost three buffalo procured as a donor who is very high uh, uh, milk yielding animals. So digitalization can do wonders. You can see as I talked to you about earlier about the mastitis control program. Now you can see that this machine we have integrated it. Now we are trying to get a strip developed. No doubt uh, with IIT and some many of the country out other uh, people. And we have got the strips where just take the strip, put it on it, and just the person would come to know whether it has subclinical mastitis or not. And the data will directly go into the system. This is what the strip we have now developed for 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 brucellosis, FMD, and tuberculosis. Trying to put up a chip inside this so that we know which exact location and which animal tag will be mapped with this, 
and the data will come to know and now these almost 500 steps have been given to the doctors they have started utilizing the next step is to give all these digital steps to the farmer itself who can find it out and they can call the doctor at the earliest uh, early pregnancy can save uh, can do the wonders this is what now the chip we are trying to develop this is what we see in uh, turkey during our last visit uh, uh, there that now these kinds of trick uh, chip which is digitalized are giving accuracy of 98% and the farmer would come to know that these uh, animals are 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 been uh, pregnant as a part of further digitalization you can see this is our uh, uh, ai worker bike and you can see this a uh, fine machine been given to him so we are now putting up a chip here so that we know the let long of that we will have a data which can directly go inside it and the he will take out the straw from it so sorted sex semen animal tag everything sorted out with digitalization coming where exactly it is going the requirement of the semen is also digitalized by the by the societies ai worker also is digitalized with all the equipments ai worker has to use only the app no paperwork across the organization for the ai worker or the any of the person who are moving at the field and with thawing machine he can do the artificial insemination by taking a scanning of the barcode on the on the particular uh, uh, semen uh, semen straw the next step which today uh, last week we got a success on this is now that to increase the efficiency we are now putting up a camera which is connected directly to the mobile that gives you, you know, like in in sitting america somebody can do the operation here in the india this is what we are saying that the let the ai worker use in the gun to know where exactly the semen needs to be uh, to be put up and the part of fertility improvement program that also we are now digitalizing it so that's the level and he has to just put the data here and the, we get everything into the system so that's the beauty of this the next step again thanks to um, uh, sri minesh bhai shah the chairman and very very dynamic and very supportive in getting into the new technology to make it implement we are supporting them a milko bike the, for the small farmer i'm very happy to share that one bike was given by ndtv today we have already ndtv has supported for another five and next target is to go 50 and 500 is that the person can go at the farm just anybody's house milk it take it give the milk to them he moves to the next house so we are realizing that a person is doing almost 18 uh, uh, milking at a time uh, in one hour in the morning and one hour in the evening so he's earning around 360 to 400 rupees a day the beauty of this is that we know what exactly is there data is available with the, with the cow how much milk it is given that can be registered directly to the system obviously if you have everything like this the next step is to have good immunity for that we are already now the different kind of metal mixture products has been available in the market uh, as i told you why i'm showing this is that subclinical mastitis is known through the digital format what next so now what we have done is we have given the we are developing a software for the uh, for the vrp who once goes there and realize that there is subclinical mastitis he will place the order for all the ayurvedic medicines or this is our plant only or the homeopathy medicine that we have now derived and we have made it successful is to use this uh, he will order it we will make it happen and reach uh, into that particular uh, uh, society or we'll try to give it to our uh, parlor uh, who the cattle feed parlors now we have 40 cattle feed parlors in the district and he can purchase it from there he has to purchase it and he can sell it to the farmer and farmer would be benefited with the less cost we can help them to increase the milk yield. so that was all at the about village level and for the animal but what digitalization we have done at the society level is the amcs system as i told you we have farmers app we have society lab we have member union app and the data directly coming into the weighing system and going to the system through the server mobile and the payment is directly to the farmers and farmer getting the information on mobile this has been across the country as soon as the farmer pours the milk he has the data on his mobile how much milk he has given what is the amount that has been created the payment is going directly to the uh, bank's account that's the beauty of this anything like in calcutta this is what you see is of calcutta data of calcutta calcutta any of the bmc what is the temperature how much is diesel being utilized for generator whether the power is on on gb or other side everything is available on the on the entire so that you have a transparency nobody can use diesel extra diesel by purchase it or do um, hanky panky the entire operation has been totally controlled so as i told you with the cvcc as i told you this is what uh, the kind of format of sms to the farmer is going you know everything is been totally paperless online ps paper are digitalized even the employee tracking visit system is digitalized the ta bills are based only on the digital platform if he is using our app then only he can do we can track where our where or where our our people are there in the country whether even if they go to the society they have got a qr code he has to scan the qr code then only the data will come his pa bill starts only and only and closes only only if he is there for one hour in that particular society to sort out the problem that's the beauty of this so call center is now going to be absolute 
and it will be more digital uh, platform obviously now one of the society at tarapur village society along with uh, ndtv and idmc we have now developed a solar system which is along with without the battery no battery so that's the beauty of this that uh, you can save a lot of 50% of power saving is coming up we are discussing government to help them out obviously the biogas generation at the village level is the key to the success which is now been uh, jakaryapura ndtv and amul is uh, doing lot of work on that and uh, we are getting excellent results so now the step is to digitalize this 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 entire operation like our milk the gas and the slurry system is also getting digitalized so what we have done is at society level the 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 secretary all our circulars are digital no paperwork all milk bills are digital account settlement is digital milk receipts are digital details of the share debenture and fds are digital their sale invoices are digital the daily log sheets are digital at the farm level itself all these are of the what you see is of the of the of the society level if you see at the order cattle feed order also is digitalized at the at the society level they have to use the app to place the order almost 95% of the orders are coming through system that directly goes to the plant you can reduce the time scheme for the demand as i told you earlier anything like rubber mat fan whatever schemes are available in the organization farmer or the society can directly select it just capture the photo and just put it in and we have the information and he will get the the product at his uh, service for our employees yes amul dairy society employees when they go to the society there is a qr code at the society he has to scan the society code log sheet will get open he has to look at all the societies put the data inside it and anything that is wrong will come to the concerned person he has to get it rectified until he rectified the things uh, he, it is his responsibility same the entire amul society i also audit has also been digitized in the aspect hygiene audits and application as i could talk to you about the qr code is also at the dcs level or at the bmc level along with the qr code has been digitalized as i told you the amul employees visiting tracking system across the country is 100% we know where our person are what they are doing or how much is there whether is at that location let long or not all our societies are let long and configured in the entire system across the country so that's the beauty of this system as i told you bmc monitoring system is also uh, is 100% even i get the alert if nobody is monitoring the first alert goes to the boss if the person the next alert goes to his boss then is to boss even in our office we can see what is the temperature of calcutta uh, bmc and if it is not happening our office will give a call and the message will get delivered into the employees that you are not taking care of your uh, bmc bmc milk collection system is also now digitalized now today we have a application where where he can just take a photograph of the milk in the tank and then data will directly transferred into the system so no manual work for the any person going to us even the service call this is a interesting thing that we have created in the call center when we have removed the people uh, when farmers started utilizing it we have now started the service call center for the fat testing machine maintenance bcs and maintenance uh, bmc's digital thawing machines or plant maintenance online everything has been made digital now so even if my office if if ac is not working i have to go to the application and register it the person the message goes to the person he would come and so every person in the in the organization or the vendors are accountable for this the turnaround that we have done in the country is in the in the the theft that was happening and the milk sampling and measurement system we have got almost now 30 trucks like this on the back side you have you can see a, a, a ipad kind of a thing Uh, which will which takes that lat long of that and the the samples are taken at the when you unload the milk in the bmc the data gets into that vial and the vial is, is with the with the with the rfid tag so when the milk comes over here nobody in the organization know that how much which society milk is that once you test it the data goes into the system then only will come to know this society milk fat and essence so this has improved the transparency and we are getting excellent response with 30 tankers across the country you can see with this we have been able to reduce almost 1 lakh 12000 kilometers in 21 22 with 90% 95% of the tanker efficiency and almost 85 metric tons of co2 this is what you see is the live dashboard in my office this dashboard is available to my managers this dashboard is available to my, to my supervisor field level supervisor and the dashboard now we are making for the societies also so here you can find milk procurement cattle feed sales milk fat snf the turnover what are the products you are selling every day what is the condition of your veterinary services you can see how many attended this is a live data that comes in how many tagging been done how many people are there in the field how many employees are there in the organization across the country today and what is the turnover everything comes so the finally what is what next you can see electric bikes is the next target that we are creating to uh, reduce the emission now we have coming with a new technology for the seal which is also been digitalized you can find the seal it has got a chip inside it 
and it can be at the gate only we will come to know you just scan it and the data will come which is the seal number nobody knows which is the seal number and and we will come to know whether this is an authentic seal or not authentic seal the next step is to have a liquefied nitrogen uh, natural gas for the transportation that we are doing solar based trucks as i mean as we already talked about the data loggers uh, already putting started inside this which help us captive solar is going to the future and as we talk about the circular economy in digitalization finally we entered into organic fertilizer just for the farmers to ensure that their fields are good and obviously we get the good because for 1 liter of milk it is not about 3 liters or 2 liters of water it is about 1855 liters of water because the water that goes for the cultivation that is where now we are targeting to bring it down with organic fertilizer and try to see the less water thank you very much for patient listening listening and this is what you see is no other country this is our sasa farm so thank you very much for this patient listening sanish sir please thank you shri amit vyasji thank you for your enlightening talk and sharing your views your talk was particularly appropriate at this time when everyone is considering the new initiative for expanding growth through digitalization in milk production cattle management and healthcare system and milk collection system your inputs were exactly what we wanted to hear at this juncture please accept our thanks for great presentation thank, thank you sir you. thank you i got a meeting sir uh, with uh, federation mds meeting just now so uh, please re uh, i request you to kindly free me for this and any questions if there you can send me or i can just reply because after this i have got a suddenly there is a meeting from uh, sodi sahab has been arranged for our mds rashes now urgent meeting okay thank you sir okay. thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you once again for sharing the giving me the opportunity to share my views thank you sir. Thank, thank you very much now to discuss the aspects of digitalization in milk processing we have today with us dr jv parekh an eminent dairy expert and international consultant on dairy and food industry having phd from national dairy research institute karnal and post doctorate from dairy research laboratory csiro melbourne australia dr parekh has rich experience in technical and commercial aspects of dairy and food products he has established Parekh and Technical Consultancy Services that offers end-to-end -end innovative solutions to the dairy and food industry. Dr. Parekh is also an editor-in-chief of a bi-monthly newspaper, Dairy Times. Now we invite Dr. Parekh ji to deliver his talk on digitalization in milk processing and packaging and give his valuable input to our delegate party. Dr. Parekh ji. Thank you very much, uh, Shani Sahab, uh, for nice words. I would also like to thank our uh, Dr. Janak Upadhyay, our uh, dean and the principal of the Dairy Science College. Can you hear me, please? Yes. Yeah. And our uh, Agrawal Sahab, our president of Indian Dairy Engineering Association, for inviting me to give the talk. I think a uh, lot of things have been covered by our Manish Bhai Shah and uh, Amit Bhai Vyas on the digitalization. So you can see the importance of the digitalization is going up and up every time. So now my topic will be going to further on the digitalization of the deposit. It is also very much important because as you know now, we are always uh, going up and up, increasing the processing capacity, expanding the capacities. And when we have to meet all the requirements, starting from the production to the packaging, we require a digitalization to save the time, to save the efficiency, everything. So this is a very much important subject what we are going to talk today on the digitalization of the milk and milk processing packaging. The slide is visible to you now. Excuse me. No, no sir. Slide is not showing, sir. Sorry? Not coming, sir. Can you see now? Share, share option, sir. Go to entire screen karo, and then you have to go for full screen. PowerPoint presentation. One minute. Present now. Karke arrow is there. Niche pe, sir. Then you have to uh, share your screen, sir. Mila, sir. One minute, please. A very nice and uh, exhaustive presentation from uh, Amit sir. Yes, we got uh, lots of idea about you know, how much development is going on in Amul sir. Great. Sir. Very very uh, nice information we got sir. Can you please guide us again? 
सर अभी तो आया नहीं सर कोई भी स्क्रीन सर नीचे जो लोगो दिख रहे हैं ना म्यूट अनम्यूट के वीडियो के वैसे ही कह रहे हैं प्रेजेंट ना होगा सो प्रेजेंट ना वो क्लिक करो जना देन यू विल गेट फ्री ऑप्शन योर एंटायर स्क्रीन ए विंडो ए टैब सो एंटायर स्क्रीन यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट उस एरो को प्रेस कीजिए सर सो यू विल गेट योर एंटायर स्क्रीन उसको फिर प्रेस करना होगा तो आपके स्क्रीन में जो आएगा दैट विल बी विजिबल टू अस सर रिपिंग सर सर यू कैन सेंड मी योर पीपीटी सो आई मे शेयर फ्रॉम योर सर आपने एंटायर स्क्रीन क्लिक किया किया अब उसके ऊपर वो पूरी स्क्रीन दिख रही है ना उसको क्लिक करना है उसके बाद नीचे शेयर का ऑप्शन आएगा वो शेयर करना है सर ऐसा है तो तब तक वो वास्तविक सर का स्टार्ट कर देते हैं सर तब तक सर का चेक कर लेते वास्तविक सर वास्तविक सर अगर आपका रेडी हो तो शुरू कर लेते हैं आपका और तब तक पारे सर का थोड़ी देर बाद हाँ बिल्कुल बिल्कुल शेयर कर लीजिए सर वास्तविक सर डॉक्टर पारे की मेरा डॉक्टर पारे का प्रेजेंटेशन दिख रहा है अभी आपको नहीं सर अभी भी नहीं दिख रहा है वास्तविक सर का आ गया तब तक वास्तविक सर का ले लेते हैं सर एंड देन बाय दैट टाइम आप नहीं होता तो यू सेंड योर प्रेजेंटेशन टू इश्तिहाक एंड ही विल शेयर द स्क्रीन नो सानी सर विल वेलकम डॉक्टर वास्तविक सर सानी सर प्लीज अनम्यूट करना पड़ेगा सर सानी सर अनम्यूट अनम्यूट करिए Till Dr. Parekh is ready with his presentation, we'll move on to our next speaker, Dr. Prashant Varsnik. He is Dean College of Dairy Technology, Varad Pusur, and is having additional charge of Dean Faculty of Dairy Technology, Maharashtra Animal and Fishery Science University. He did his doctorate degree in dairy engineering from ICR National Dairy Research Institute and has several technology standardization to his credit. He is an expert in textural and moisture migration properties of traditional indian dairy products and has developed mathematical model for prediction of ghee adulteration in image analysis method we now invite dr vasnik to deliver his talk on digitalization in milk marketing and give his valuable inputs to our delegate party participants dr vasnik please thank you sir <coughs> good afternoon all सर जीवी प्रजापति अग्रवाल जी चूक साहब ऑल ऑफिस बेरर्स ऑफ आइडिया एंड फेलो डेलीगेट्स दिस गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल सो इन दिस वेबिनार द डिजिटाइजेशन ऑफ न्यूज प्रोक्योरमेंट इज वेल डिस्कस्ड बाय Dr. Amit Vyas ji and very very wonderful presentation yeah. he did and the digitization of marketing is allotted to me by Dr. J B Upadhyay sir and the organizers of I, this webinar. I am thankful to the organization and Dr. Upadhyay sir that uh, they have given me this opportunity to learn and share about this topic. So I will try to cover this topic within the stipulated time frame of 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, so we are around. 130 crore people in india and is the biggest consumer market for the globe our more than 50% population is less than 25 years of age and 65% population is below 35 years the average age of indian population is 29 years as compared to 37 years for the china and 47 years for the japan that means we are the youngest country in the globe and this young population is using the digital means in their daily routine life in 2006 to 16 
there is a 50% increase in the per capita income of indians and because of internet mobile and social media sites the communication is faster than ever ultimately reduced the gap between the urban and rural population and we are witnessing the visible change in the social settings and 47% population that is around 658 million people are using the internet amit shah ji amit vyas ji mentioned that the 50% population is having the internet so roughly this 47% population using the internet facility and this scenario is providing the tremendous potential for digital marketing between 2008 to 17 the india alone accounted for 57.7% of the global demand growth for the fresh dairy products and the same is expected to reach 60.4% in the decade that is 2017 to 27 the per capita consumption of the dairy product by indian consumers is also projected to grow at 36% by the year 2027 while the total consumption is expected to grow at 51% which is highest in the world so this is the table where i have tried to show the milk marketing or share of the various companies and amul is having the maximum share that is the 15% in 2018 followed by mother dairy nandini and avin so when while talking about the milk and milk products and its marketing just we heard the amit vyas ji the first name came to our mind is amul and we can't move further without mentioning the growth of amul the largest dairy cooperative in the world having the sales turnover of around 392 billion and ranked 8th in the top 20 dairy processors by ifcn in 2019 now in 2021 the amul is ranked at 16th position because of the covid time pandemic and it is having 40% share in ice cream market and 10% share in chocolate market now i learned that the amul also launched the e platform for their marketing in gujarat state and there they are taking the consumer preference and the consumer can trace the raw material coming from which cow that much the amul has done in digital marketing so this marketing is a flow of goods and services from producer to consumer and users and where the digital marketing uses the electronic devices to convey the promotional messages to the consumers and this digitization helps the manufacturers and retailers to ensure that the right product is available in the right place in the line with the consumer preference so here this digital marketing generally it is carried out with the help of computers mobile phones ipads and game consoles and if the internet is available then through websites emails apps and social networking sites and if the internet is not tv and radio our dairy cooperatives are very fast to upgrade and adopt the new changes when government was struggling to start the e-commerce for the agriculture commodities our dairy cooperative have started the e-platform in june 2016 with the guidance of nddb through ncdfi and conducting the e-auctions weekly where they sell their produce to big private dairies such as itc britannia wadilal patanjali and more than 220 buyers have registered on their portal so how technology is reshaping the e-commerce experience in two tier and three tier cities in india now we are using the chatbots and other ai techniques to replicate the human to human interaction and provide the customer with immediate and round the clock solution so with the wider range of payment methods and particularly attractive offers for the e wallet consumers in tier 2 and 3 cities are more likely to make the final decision to buy online so this online transaction in india grew by 80% in 2020 over the previous year and upi transactions grew by 120% in 2020 so when we talk about our dairy products and in india these dairy products are available on the dedicated store or in the grocery shops so this online grocery market in india was valued at 135 billion in 2019 and is expected to expand to 1227 billion by 2025 at the cumulative average growth rate of around 41.8% during the forecast period 2020 to 2025 and uh, me, these grocery companies are financed by the venture capitalists such as softbank tiger global and sequoia capital because of the high returns now in india we are seeing the aggregator model where the consumer want to experience and experience experiment with the available brands and products in the e store therefore this model became more successful 
and many big companies are investing in these models you might have heard the names of all these that is blinkit big basket jio market all these are in the aggregator aggregator model of digital now the new thing is coming that is the q commerce that is the quick commerce has changed the on on demand delivery landscape by reducing the delivery time from 12 to 24 hours to 10 to 60 minutes our 10% households are buying the groceries online and placing over 10 orders per month using quick commerce app out of those 70% are purchasing last minute essentials and indulgence foods while 29% are buying regular groceries this last minute essential include our milk and milk products so this grocery and on demand delivery companies such as grofers big basket milk basket ninja craft super daily and danzo daily witnessed a significant increase in the demand for example this big basket reported fulfilling 283000 orders per day a steep rise of 89% in comparison to 150000 orders per day before the pandemic so he is the adik palicha and his friend kaivalya ora both 19 after quitting the coveted computer science program of stanford university started zepto that is the quick commerce company in mumbai in 2021 and he is saying that he is delivering his product in 10 minutes and he is saying that his infrastructure has been built to perfect this model and is focusing upstarts with this strong thing and fast growing business models the second one is the kabir biswas started danzo daily initially on whatsapp group in bangalore and now he is having the 200 million annualized gross merchandise value and intends to fulfill more than 75 million orders in 2022 across chennai mumbai bangalore pune and delhi this ankur pawa he from the eva systems he is mentioning that a lot of grocery consumption in india is unplanned and the share of top up purchases is heavy if companies want to meet these kinds of needs they will have to look at the shorter dur- duration deliveries and the same thing is following following by the denzo zepto blinkit and swiggy instamart this quick market size is now 0.3 billion that is the 10% of the total online market and it is expected that up to 2025 it will increase up to 5 billion dollars so now this size of quick commerce where the top up needs and unplanned purchases of indian consumers and swift deliveries by companies deriving or driving this q commerce companies in india where the swiggy has set aside 700 million dollars for express grocery delivery services from instamart and it is delivering around 20 minutes in most locations this uh, blinkit that is it was formerly known as grofers is looking to expand its product basket beyond groceries and everyday essentials danzo daily is set to expand its operation in 25 more cities in the next one year from where it is serving as seven cities zepto has expanded to seven cities since its launch in june 2021 so this blinkit claimed to have a network of 300 dark stores and is said to be launching the new store every 4 hours so this three dark stores is nothing but the local store where they are storing their daily supplies for the quick deliveries this swiggy instamart is one of the early entrants in this space has partnered with the 150 sellers to run the dark, dark stores <coughs> and zepto runs around 100 dark stores and delivering around 2500 orders a day so is this model viable the biggest challenge or the problem with the q commerce is that the margins for the lot of products are low but the delivery costs are high to make the margin works one will have to ensure that the average order value increases it is mentioned by the power and for the companies to start making money per order the cost of delivery should be efficient in the conclusion i will say that the q commerce is the biggest opportunity for our dairy industry itc has started this platform and where all its products are available and the consumer can experience the availability of the products where in the offline stores he can't see all the product range similarly the amul is also started their e platform for their products where the chatbots and this ai should be used to analyze the consumer preference 
so that the as i mentioned that the right product at the right time will be available to the consumer and dairy industry should have their own e market portal and digitalization is the best way for the companies to continue to serve to their customer thank you very much for your patient hearing thank you sir thank you. thank you very much dr vasnik for sharing your thoughts and ideas with us we have gained a lot of information in one place which probably no other source can do it better than this thank you we sir are <laughs> we are grateful to you dr vasnik thank you very much uh, now i will again request dr jb parek yes please go ahead with your presentation sir working one bit dr parek please Go to slide mode. Istia, slide show mode. Istia, go to slide uh, show mode. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Is it busy, ma? Can you can you hear me now? Uh, yes. 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 Sorry, yes, I'm a little bit yes. saying my voice then. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Visible. Yes. Yeah. Next slide, please. So as I was mentioned to you, this is a lot of importance is there of the digitalization, which certainly every our speaker has already mentioned. How this can happen? You know, easy of operation, optimum resources utilization, saving in the time. Time. Is it clear? Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. You are audible, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You can continue. So this is really digitalization is going to become a big revolution where we are capacity as the things are going up. It also brings for transparency and the control within the systems to ensure the entire business grows in a way to stay ahead and well secure market ensure. So these are some of the major advantages when we are talking about the digitalization. Next please. Now I want to show you this. Uh, what are the basic requirements of the industrial dairy solutions? I am going to talk about basically you know from the processing side. And this is a company called uh, it's a software developed by the Rotland company from Germany. This is a plant ET. IT, which is shows you know from the raw materials starting from the raw materials till the end of the products. You see, you can see the storage uh, and the preparation of the UST mills and the fermentation. What are the steps involved, starting from the raw material to the finally to the finished products? And always you have got some of the suppliers, you know, vendors. And finally, if you can see that at the bottom, there is always a logistic technology will be there, processing technology will be there, and finally picking, packing, and the packing, and finally it is a inspection and that. So this is the basic requirement of the processing plant if you want to put up the you know digitalization of the dairy plant. So this is very much a uh, nutshell. This has to be involved when we are making the integrated uh, processing plant digitalization. Now integrated digital with the plant IT. This is a software program from the Prolet company from the Germany. Yes, I am little bit associated with that, which is uh, useful for the fully integrated manufacturing executive systems, which includes you know ERP, MES, and PCS, uh, which is all the process area in the dairy plant. So this is an integrated solution which will provide you all. Whatever the starting from the planning stage, from the starting from the execution stage, and the final is the controls. So this is a very good systems which has been uh, utilizing by so many other countries also. So this is what we are associated with this a Prolet company from the Germany, and this is a what is available with us. Next please. Now this is a MES provide the product production manager with the opportunity to overview and control the entire process chain. Sir, slide feature नहीं है मैं जो show कर रहा हूँ साइड नॉट विजिबल नहीं जो स्लाइड मैं सर दिखा रहा हूँ डेट इज विजिबल टू एवरी वन सो ये वैल्यू चेन वाली सही है कौन से नंबर की स्लाइड सर आप डिस्कस कर रहे हो यू नो आई एम शोइंग अवर स्लाइड एक्चुअली आई एम शोइंग स्लाइड डेट इज विजिबल टू एवरी वन ओके ओके सर आप स्लाइड दिख रही है ना जो स्लाइड दिख रही है तो मैं यहाँ से नेक्स्ट करूंगा Hey, may I will share your slides only then. That will be better. Go oh, your end. Yes, sir. One minute. Sir, we are busy. Number nine. 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 We are seeing number nine slide, sir. Nine. Yes, sir. Parik, sir. Hello. Hi, sir. Parik, sir, left. Okay. हेलो आए सर 
बारे सर लेफ्ट हो गया ही ज्वाइन कर गए फिर से ज्वाइन किया मैंने एडमिट किया उनको ओके सर तो कौन से स्लाइड से स्टार्ट करूँ मैं सर इस त्याग विल शेयर द स्लाइड आप सर देखते रहिए स्लाइड आपको नेक्स्ट बोल रहा हूँ मैं आई विल चेंज द स्लाइड ओके हाँ इस त्याग का फर्स्ट चीज हाँ 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 दो ओके That slide, please. That's okay. Now it's fine. Everybody can see the slide. Yes, sir. We all are seeing, sir. Go yeah. to next slide. Sorry for the interruption. Yeah. So I was mentioning the importance of the digitalization in the meat processing plants. I think also the plant very much mentioned. There are lot of optimization of the resources. There are control is there completely. It means the transparency. And this is how the digitalization has to go up in any country now in the big industry. So we are expanding the capacity of the plant, which is very difficult to handle. We don't need to also so the digitalization becomes more accurate, more perfect, and more transparent. So this is what I was mentioning to you. This is this is a company called Colec from the Germany. They have developed some of the software programs. Can you hand out the slide? We can see so everybody can see. So here you can see from the left hand side. From the raw material side, it is the end of the completely uh, on the finished product. Uh, the whole uh, completely this uh, integrated uh, project has uh, been this one uh, of the software has been developed for uh, uh, complete on the project uh, plant IT software is called, and those uh, are you know all the suppliers are there. And plus you can see this is the logistic management planning, CIP and management system at the bottom, and this is the energy management, maintenance management, and the quality control level. These all Has system has been properly can be interconnected and this could be a, a one software program can you know, operate in to, to all the requirements. Can I just add this? Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is what is I was mentioned to you that this is plant IT is a modular process control system with a fully integrated manufacturing and processing systems. What we call MES function at all the process areas is fully integrated. Yes, the MES provides the production manager with opportunities to overview to control the entire process chain from home milk delivery to the marketing. MES and PCS levels are often seen as a two separate system in a production plant. Generally, find there are separate different or different apps. So here, these are all integrated together. This software system is run on a multiple servers, requires significant engineering and effort to overhead. If it is a separate, so now if you got one combined integrated systems which can take care of the MES and PC. PC. So this is a plant IT is the providing the single system for both PC and MES built upon a single plant model with a single configuration and user environment. Plant IT provides perfect foundation for plant information processing, including the capacity for operation, maintenance, and different other other feature aspects. So, these are some of the software has been developed very nice. So, this is what I want to show you. Integrated systems are mainly as a, the three aspects are there. If you look at the three levels, on the top you can see the ERP system, which is enterprise resource planning. Where you can have plant management and the scheduling. Now, second, I can see the slide is the MES. That's a manufacturing executive systems, which is doing the production and the processing monitoring. Another slide, please. Hi. And there are three levels I was just trying to show you. First one is the ERP system on the top, and the middle is the MES, and third one is the control. What we call PCS systems, which is useful for the process and uh, controls. So these are some of the uh, three level systems are available integrated that can be combined together and can be have integrated production system for the big processing. Yes, please. So this is what I want to show you. This is how the generally the dairy plants. When we have about this is the dairy plant, you can see here from the beginning starting from that uh, milk production and milk uh, uh, processing side on the. Right hand side, and then we have got this uh, pasteurizer processing side, and then we can have a pure product dye, feeding and packing, and finally warehouse. So here you can see this is the generally our value uh, chain uh, in the milk processing plants happens. Once we are talking on the top, we are when we are talking about this, uh, mainly for this uh, starting with this, uh, you know, first uh, production side, you can see that it is a reception side, you know, from the beginning. Then this MES can be interconnected. Which is helpful for the tracking of the vehicles, 
and the monetary shift that we are expecting in the near future. So this is a very connected with this uh, all the three systems what I have mentioned to you, PCS as well as ADS. And then you can have also the raw milk storage strength also, this can be also integrated with the quality checkup also and cleaning control other things also. So this system has been completely connected to the complete with ADS and with the PCS. Now, for them to go to the you know, preparation for whatever the milk storage strength, other things are there. ERP processes also, you know, on a, with the integration system, which can give the you know, plant management system, integrated production orders, and integrated control of the separate factor. And then we can have a after preparation, we can have mixing and fermentation like cheese or yogurt. So that is also to be connected with the ERP systems, which is a use, you know, good management. This can also help the batch management, whatever you want to prepare. So this is a completely covering the systems and then it will come to the yogurt and dry if you want to stay dry plan. Then all the data are available and all the recording management, whatever control service, whatever the coordinations are there. This gives a complete system in the yogurt and the stay dry. Finally, it is a, what we call the finished products. You can see the packaging and the finished products, which is also helpful when you are doing the tracking of the transport, you know, the wall, other thing that can be also completely kept down. Warehouse management is also there in this system. And finally, the cleaning and sanitization. Because we don't know how much chemical CIP, chemicals, other things we know monitor. This automatic CIP system is also to be connected completely. And this gives both SIP and for the CIP system. SIP and CIP. So this is a completely integrated uh, cleaning solution. And finally, it is a uh, utilities management. So whatever the utilities are there required, for that also it gives the complete energy requirements, whatever the boiler, reparation plants are there. So this gives the complete idea. This is a typical uh, integrated uh, process, uh, the digitalizing system, which is used by most of the big plants in Europe. Next slide. Now I want to show you the integrated production side. You can see on this side, on the, the ERP system is there, the, the quality management system is there, then we have our control and areas. So these are all to be interconnected if you see the, from the middle side, with all material master data are available, good, good incoming is there, process order mixing is there, so final process order and the, so all these all these activities in the dairy plant can be integrated together with the one monitoring system and then can take care of your ERP your quality management, your distribution system and the final control. So which is a completely system available and this is a very useful, very handy also. So this is an integrated uh, daily solution. Again, I want to say the same thing that ERP systems, MA systems and with, uh, our controls, all our three are well connected each other and uh, there can be a uh, completely integrated systems to have a proper home uh, storage, processing, filling, packing, finish goods, finally the trucks. So you see at the bottom, you can see all this has been shown with the arrow. This has become very much useful and it will completely control of this, all the utility requirements, materials, packaging materials, and in the processing also. So this type of systems are very much becoming very common. Next thing. Now, we have already discussed this in our, I think, Olympia also automatic bill collection centers which are already available now in our country, but this is also when you are digitalizing it, it gives the asset quality, fat, SMS, milk, real time, automatic in calculated thing and so on. You know, hard work can be we completely transformed. So these are already AMCS, already I can come by other also and so many other things in France. So this is also advantage when you are putting the digital one. Now, farmers receive the instant notification by automatic, uh, automatic bill collection system when our payment is credited to their account, which helps them to keep the track of their business. So, they are whatever availability, they are how much things they have given, what price, and they have got, and how much money they have received. So, this is all very transparency available throughout uh, the bill procurement system in this uh, program. Yes. Now, also, again, uh, when we are talking about the pensioning of the processing plan, this is a plan of six levels, a centralized platform for managing the logbook of the entire plan. We keep the access to view logbooks from the anywhere in the plan, connect to the control system and provide the real-time visibility and track of equipment operating data to the operator. So this is the complete systems which give the, all the processing what is the product which everything is there as I mentioned to you. This is a very useful system which is very like, like, can be next please. 
monitor through the cctv through the uh, distance from the distance also you can through the cctv you can monitor completely the systems of your milk procurement also and even for the dispatch yes please can i next slide please so if same thing with the centralizing monitoring of the cold storage temperature weighing weighing balance data gas fuel consumption whatever the energy requirements is there in the refrigeration plant in the boiler or of my air compressor then everything is under control and you can have a management completely you know all has been properly recorded and it is in the manage the quick process is keep personal automatically help to quick decision making and reduce the down time and the increase the power so this improve the productivity reduce the you know the waste of time so this is very useful in the technology or the digitalization softwares are available now and that can be applied to the dairy industry to join completely integrated systems next please now robotic also packaging now we are doing you know because of packaging material capacity problem on shelf machine or any cup filling machines are going up and up so it is very difficult to manage with the manual and it can have a lot of waste of time also so here also now pick and place uh, pouches is possible also i think amuna has also developed so many softwares are coming to india also so this also help to to have a faster quality management and proper recording your convenient system of the pouches how many pouches you want the crates or thing so complete recording is possible with the digitalization and this is all you have to have one control it can be run by the one person sitting in the office and can operate all the daily plan so this is a my small presentation sorry for the interference now i ask mr anudan our friend is there with the habit yes he is from the rockwell automation he has a lot of work in automation in the daily industry and he, he has 23 years with this uh, rockwell automation and he has done a lot of automation for the dairy industry in the gujarat and other states of india so i request mr aditi vyas to share some of his presentation please mr aditi yeah. yeah so thank you mr parik and uh, thank you for inviting me on this uh, very i would say prestigious forum so uh, as dr parik mentioned so i have been working very closely with various cooperatives and private dairy customers for delivering automation and uh, digitization solutions so i'll just share uh, a concept which we call as a digital dairy and how new digitization today is a journey so it cannot be achieved overnight so you have to start somewhere and then you have to actually keep on uh, going as per your kpis so if, if you can go to the next side please yeah so we already spoke a lot the other uh, uh, previous presenters they spoke on the connected dairy concept so this is nothing but how we by integrating the entire supply chain we can have various benefits in terms of you know maximizing the yield in terms of uh, faster time to market and today everything everybody is talking about iiot enabled systems for livestock management animal health so mr amitvya has already covered this in detail transport and logistics is also one very key area where a lot of dairies are investing today it is more of you know rfid tagging the vehicles and uh, kind of uh, you can go track and trace from where actually the milk came so th there are countries outside india where people are able to do it at the animal level but still in india we are able to do at a village milk union where you can actually go back and track from where the milk had come also predictive model this is helping a lot uh, this is again kind of uh, data analytics where a whole predictive model is built up so you can actually uh, look at the model and know what is going to happen how, how is your pattern of milk collection going to be there in the coming weeks on basis of the historical model the whole thing is built up and this helps you plan your production uh, in the plant at in advance actually can go to the next slide yeah one more click yeah so this is an interesting slide so this is a real uh, scenario i would say this is how a dairy plant looks like so if i start with <clears throat> the first section which is actually the raw milk uh, reception and dispatch where the tanker actually enters in so once the tanker enters the dairy it is actually rfid coded so that uh, code is scanned all the details of the tanker the driver from which milk union how much milk has come everything is there in the system then it is guided towards a specific tanker bay where it goes then the milk is uh, emptied in it goes into the tanker bay and then all the process like cip other cleaning process everything is done and once this goes back again there is a checklist where again it is scanned and if, if all the process is completed only then the tanker will be allowed to leave out so this is 
on the tanker management system that we have already given at various dairies now on the r&d side before the before the milk actually enters all the r&d data also goes to the lab so the sampling is done very quickly and uh, immediately over the walkie talkie the message goes in or over the whatsapp the message goes in that uh, this milk is good to take then the processing starts the processing plant is fully actually automated the right from the pasteurization to separation and all this process is fully automated but what we are adding here when i talk about digital sorry something went wrong i think on the screen i think the different screen is on the display yeah thank you so i was saying that in the liquid milk plant the various uh, technology that we are using so we are using something which we call as a modular predictive control so this is nothing but we are further fine tuning the pid loops to increase the uh, asset utilization and also the reduce time to pasteurization and this in turn is basically saving lot of energy it is improving the quality so things like that uh, you know you get uh, tangible benefits like that so that is on the lmp side we have got a centralized control room where we are monitoring the various section on a single screen and basically we can also control like what data which user can view from which screen so basically the entire dairy is connected and from the device level to the enterprise level we can have all the information so depending on the various kpis you know like if i talk about challenges the main challenges is like uh, maintaining your operating margins maintaining your uh, product mix asset utilization energy and water consumption and control this is a very big issue in all the dairies and obviously managing your seasonal demand and the variability so all of this works out you know in terms of creating real time uh, dashboards where the person can actually take action in real time and maybe you can save in terms of energy you can you uh, save in terms of asset utilization you can save in terms of improving the quality so things like this are been looked at by various manufacturers where everybody wants to know what more they can get out of the automation system there are various smart systems which can also give you data like anything extra going away suppose there is a ice cream packing line and you have a smart wear where you are taking the output and it is actually telling you if anything extra is uh, giving away in a uh, particular pack so things like that today are uh, everything is become very smart and the data has been used to see how in real time action can be taken you can you can save on this the next slide please <clears throat> yeah so in any dairy plant uh, usually what happens is you end up buying machines from various uh, oems and every oem will be having his own uh, control system and his own automation system now when we talk of a digital dairy concept what happens is you need to integrate all these various uh, equipments to get the data and build the right information so that is where actually the challenge starts so what we advise more and more people is like whenever you are planning for a greenfield investment it is better that you talk on standardization or talk on you know uh, getting data on a common protocol so like there are protocols like ethernet ip profinet or these are all the uh, various protocols on it which on which a particular automation system will communicate so if you are building that whole uh, i would say network in the first phase itself it becomes very easy when you land up with all these machines with uh, various uh, automation systems and you just need to connect it and you will have all the data on a central server where you can actually put these analytic software and you can have a real time uh, kind of uh, monitoring dashboards the next slide please yeah so this is something what is the future and what is happening today so the traditional uh, system landscape how it has been challenged and how it has been changing so people today realize that if they don't have real time information they cannot take any action and if they cannot take an, any actions in real time they can actually not save anything in terms of energy in terms of reducing uh, your overall production cost so basically the first step is like measuring only if you are measuring you know what is your production cost today what is your energy cost today only then you can actually build a system to control it but most plants today they just run on production targets and people they don't actually have systems or smart devices to actually monitor how much energy is been used today to manufacture a particular batch and whether the same amount of, of energy was used yesterday to manufacture same amount of batch so things like this where you know there's a lot of thinking which is going in uh, into uh, the op uh, operation managers and i would say even the C ceo and cxo various companies they are actually realizing the importance of data and information today in building all these analytic tools in in real time so on the right side you see these are all the various solutions iot people are talking about uh, taking the data to cloud people are talking about building mobility people are talking about remote uh, monitoring remote servicing you know a person sitting uh, today we have customers who are actually uh, able to monitor the plant remotely they can sit in their offices in the plant is maybe say 500 1000 kilometers away and in real time on maybe a, a mobile device like an ipad 
you can actually see what is happening in the plot and and there are alarms sms is going in where you can actually prioritize uh, you can set the limits like what alarm has to go to which uh, person and what action needs to be taken so everything is in place in the system so there is no manipulation whatever data is coming is very authentic data there is no paper records no log books so whatever you are getting is actually what is happening in real time so this is how the whole uh, i would say manufacturing is going today whether it is dairy or whether it is any field and i'm very happy to see this happening a lot in dairy because dairy was always considered to be more of a you know a sector where uh, things like this never mattered that much but today even dairy people know that uh, if you are able to control the cost for value added products that is where actually the profits lie so the, uh, more and more i am seeing people getting more uh, vigilant today in investing on technology and seeing how it can benefit them next slide please. yeah so that was my last slide so this is a tagline from one of our customers so we say that from cows to clouds you know so that is where the people aspire to be today but as i said this is a whole journey so you need to actually understand where your plant manufacturing is today and then depending on that we can help you you know build that whole uh, path to reach your total uh, digital or a smart dairy concept uh, thank you mr parekh that, that's all from me thank you very much for sharing uh, your experience with the dairy industry we would also like to thank the uh, organizer also if you got any questions you can take now or later please suggest thank you i'm here please sir sorry sir thank you very much uh, Nice area. Thank you, Dr. Parekh, for your stimulating presentation. Your talk on new technologies on integrated plant solutions and the connected dairy concept put forward by Aditya Vyas was very interesting and informative. It was great pleasure to listen to you, your wise words, and learn so much from that. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. I once again would like to offer thanks to all the three learned speakers for telling us about digitalization in a brilliant way. Thank you for helping us become more aware of digitalization process and identifying the ways to apply them in milk procurement. I now hand over to Brinda for further proceedings. Uh, now I would like to call upon Dr. Istia Chauhan, sir, Dairy Engineering Department, SMC College of Dairy Science, Kamdeni University, Anand, for the question answer session. Good afternoon, everyone. we have seen the youtube streaming also and here chat box we have not received any question but uh, 60 part six participants are there in this google meet so any one of these you can ask question to jay parekh sir as well as to the vasnik sir anyone Bhagania sir What sir what can we do sir Actually if no questions are there then we can we can conclude Yes sir Okay uh, okay now I would like to call upon hello now i would like to call upon mr ramesh chok sir vice president idea and ex cgm haryana milk federation for concluding remarks <coughs> thank you arinda am i audible yes okay thank you first of all i would like to congratulate idea as well as dairy engineering division dairy science college anand for taking up the call for conducting this webinar particularly janak upadhyay was very kind to accept the challenge and same was assisted by ishtiak chuhan and further i would like to quote that the indian dairy engineering association has gone one step ahead in expanding its vision to taking up the issues of milk procurement milk processing and milk marketing apart from dairy engineering side only uh, only <coughs> uh i am thankful to the chief guest shri manish shah chairman and ddb anand who had taken time from his busiest schedule to grace the occasion i think he is the busiest man today in dairy industry and he is doing basically integration of all 
cooperatives, federations, private plants, government, and its subsidiaries, Mother Dairy, and lot of I think great work is being done by Minaj Shah. I do remember his association with me while I was in Haryana Dairy Federation in conducting various schemes of NDDB and the project. I am also thankful to the Vice Chancellor uh, Dr. H K Telewala and uh, unfortunately he could not join us, but his full support and blessings are with the uh, organizers. <coughs> I am also thankful to the President IDA for explaining the various activities being conducted by IDA and tributes given to our late founder, engineer M. M. Munjalji and the contribution done by the subsequent President Dr. S. P. Agarwala and Shri S. C. Agarwal is taking the flag forward from both the past President. <coughs> Dr. Ishmar Sani, who is the active, most active member of the association and is, has played a major role in organizing previous and this webinar. In spite of going to Canada, he has taken care that he has his presence, he has taken care of his presence in spite of the odd hours prevailing there. <coughs> I come to the speakers. There were three speakers, Mr. Amit Vyas, MD Amul, who has uh, covered the field of milk procurement. He has explained in detail the first what advantage we can have in digitalization, particularly in milk procurement, that is transparency in the system. Second is the accuracy. He emphasized the accuracy has increased. And thirdly, the problems of the farmers, grassroots levels, that has been that could be a com a communicated to the higher management, which was initially not being done. They have a large fleet of units, almost 47 units in the country, and due to digitalization only, they could be able to control, monitor all the units perfectly, getting real-time data and taking timely action only. The challenges faced by them was the monitoring across the country, covering complete value chain from farmers to the consumer, making this complete uh, activities paperless and managing an integration of all the system. The various activities taken by them were animal ear tagging system, which is the starting point of our value chain. And they have done a pointer work in this. Then they have set up call centers, 24 hours call centers, mobile apps, online treatment, ration balancing, land information survey. We did not elaborate much on it, but what I assume they have taken initiative for information on the land occupied by the farmers which is available for cultivation so that the fodder problem can be addressed. Artificial insemination, breed history. They were able to know that how many cows, cows born, died and sold in a particular time. The major loss to the farmers in dairy industry is due to mastitis and they have taken a challenge to diagnose it properly and then get the information to the farmer as well as to their health workers and making it a timely treatment and I think it has been totally overcome by them and it has happened due to only digital monitoring only. They are analyzing cattle health data, they have worked on sorted sex semen and this sorted sex semen and the uh, digitalization has led to their average yield increasing from 38 kg to 50 kg and they are likely to increase the milk production to double which would not have been possible without digitalization. Embryo transplant is in another, another initiative making calf nursery for embryo transfers, buffalo development. Till now they are more emphasized by only cow. Now they are focused buffalo also. Early pregnancy, pregnancy diagnosis, e-bikes, EVP system, these are all at farmers level and village level. Then their ne next level is at a society level. Society level they have created CBCC system, centralized veterinary Veterinary call center. They have solar BMC without battery, biogas generation, complete society portal, and they have made it even audit and supervision also digital. That is a beauty, I think, making that was the most difficult task. And the supervisor 
supervisor or their staff visits also they have made it digital so that sitting at their office they can track the person's activity and even their tour program ta bills are being generated automatically so this will definitely increase the productivity as well as as the as well cost reduction then they have opted for service call management and the uh, pilferage from the milk tankers was a great minus when i was in uh, haryana dairy federation their tankers they had regular complaint of uh, milk being theft from their tankers in haryana but nothing uh, control no help was being given and now they have overcome that problem by installing this complete digital system for the trucks also milk sampling measurement system and this has led to their reduction in kilometers almost it has led to 1 lakh kilometers which is a great amul has a complete amul dashboard dashboard and this is i think everything from one point you can see real well uh, real time data as well as control as well as take remedial measures for that he also indicated his uh, next uh, activities or next uh, opportunities which they will be willing e bike is there they are digital seal concept want to digitalize captive solar power biofuel and biofertilizer these were the few initiative they are going to take in a future so overall this was a great presentation information wise knowledge wise showing the how amul is working and one can compare that where we stand as compared to amul i am thankful to dr amit vyas for taking time and energy for this presentation i wish him all the success uh, next speaker was dr prashant vashnik dean college of dairy technology usar he covered the milk marketing aspect so he started his talk the giving why e marketing or digitalization in marketing is necessary why we should go for digitalization in marketing and it is increasing and the population youngest population is in india maximum consumers are in india per capita income is increasing in india and 47% of people are using internet which is very much necessary for digital digitalization the advantage of uh, digital marketing it helps in right product at right place most of digital marketing can be various it can be internet it can be through mobile it can be through web it can be through radio number of methods are available for going for digital or you can choose a combination of that artificial intelli intelligence technology they can play a major role in digital marketing wider range of payment and methods in marketing are available that is a challenge so you have to cover cash as well as google pay as well every type of payment method has to be covered in marketing that is a challenge e marketing is expanding at the rate of 41.8% from 20 to 25 seeing the potential of the marketing many capitals companies are venturing into e marketing because it can lead to a higher returns they are ready to finance these big companies are investing in e marketing and one of the more latest concept is coming as q commerce that is q commerce presently our delivery period varies from 12 to 24 hours so with digital marketing we can reduce it to 10 minutes to 60 minutes which is a great challenge and the consumer will be most benefited with the timely delivery of the equipment which is a major issue in marketing in covid period a lot of e marketing has potential and and it has solved the problems also many startup are coming and venturing in e commerce or e marketing today 10% of the total marketing e uh, total marketing is e marketing and very soon it will uh, likely to increase at the rate of 20 to 20 25 percent per year. The various players: Swiggy, Blinkit, Dumjo Daily, Jepto, Instamart. The major major question is viability. Also, before venturing into e-marketing, he cautioned that viability is also issue because the margins in dairy are less and cost. are high so before opting for e marketing viability aspect has to be taken care of the various recommendations that it is a biggest opportunity chatbots and ai should be analyzed consumer preferences one should have our own e marketing portal and digital is the best way 
to serve the consumers. Consumer will be satisfied and consumer is our God. So E-marketing is just satisfying God. So it was a great in-depth marketing information as well as opportunities given by Vashnik. I am very thankful to him and wish him all the best. Our third speaker, Dr. J.V. Parikh, who is a well-known to the dairy industry and pioneer in contributing towards the various fields. I think that this is, it is a tremendous output from Dr. J.V. Parikh. He has covered the area of processing. Although processing is the first platform where automation or digitalization started, almost most of the plants have tried to invest in automation and digitalization of processing compared to procurement and marketing. But still a lot of la long way journey because this is the most complicated if we compare procurement and marketing. Integration of processing which is a heart of dairy business is a more challenging one. It will lead to the advantages, ease of operation, optimum resource utilization, saving in, saving in time and reduced cost, optimum supply chain, higher productivity, transparency and controlling the system. He explains the integrated solution worked by some expert in Germany which are successfully working and the various levels of digitalization from ERP to MES to control. He also gave a typical process section with dairy plant activities from reception to uh, dispatches, covered automatic CIP system and gave an overview of the system itself. He also gave details about the automatic milk collection system and its uh, major advantages. Automatic uh, notification of payment of farmers, digitalization of plant log sheets, digitalization of management information system. Previously, MIS was th thought of the main control system of the management. Now we have to digitalize that uh, MIS system also. Then centralization, fuel power, energy consumption and their controls, robotic packaging in milk pouch and then it was uh, the presentation was taken over by Aditya Vyas represented from Rockwell Automation which is a pointer in dairy automation in India. It is a USA based company but done a lot of work in dairy automation and I should say they are the major stake or major work done in dairy as far as uh, digitalization and automation is concerned. So he, gave, he also gave a concept of digital dairy and then explained that it is a continuous journey. There is no end to digitalization. You have to keep on giving more importance and more inputs to this. He gave a a slide of connected dairy where all the activities of different sections are integrated then leading to a central control room then he gave a some track uh, for transportation system tracking the milk which is possible by the digitalization because that is a major uh, aspect of tracking milk from the source practically its achievement is almost uh, nil today and the day if we can go to the source of the milk, that will be a great day for it internationally. So he explained about RIFD code that as soon as milk enters, so they have a RIFD program and then they have a centralized control system integrating the data of the all the machines of a section and then all the sections are centralized to the central server. He also gave a glimpse of the traditional working which we used to versus digital landscape. We can judge ourselves where we were and where we are and where we have to go. One has to keep this in mind as far as digitalization is concerned. I am thankful to both Dr. Parikh as well as uh, this uh, Aditya Vyas of Brokewell Automation. So this ended with all the speakers. Overall, I can conclude this was a nice successful section and attended by almost 100 participants. And I uh, wish that we, I wish idea to take up similar web or physical seminars in future also. All the best and thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Ramesh Chuk, sir. Uh, we can share one feedback form link in the chat box. So all participants are requested to fill up the form and submit it. Now, I would like to call upon Dr. Istiak Chauhan, sir, Dairy Engineering Department, SMC College of Dairy Science, Kamjani University, Anand, for word of thanks. Thank you, sir. Now we are going to complete our idea webinar. Signature is on the Google Meet platform. Please. Signature is on the Google Meet platform.
चीफ गेस्ट श्री मंजनेश शाह सर चेयरमैन नेशनल डेयरी डेवलपमेंट बोर्ड आनंद चेयरमैन ऑफ टूडेज वेबिनार डॉक्टर जे बी उपाध्याय सर प्रिंसिपल एस एम सी कॉलेज ऑफ डेयरी साइंस आनंद श्री एस सी अग्रवाल सर प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडियन डेयरी इंजीनियर्स एसोसिएशन एंड फॉर्मर एडिशनल मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर मिल्क फेड डॉक्टर आई के सानी सर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ आइडिया एंड फॉर्मर हेड डी ए डिविजन आईसीआर एनडीआर ए करना श्री आर के चौक सर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट आइडिया एंड एक्स सी जी एम हरियाणा मिल्क फेडरेशन ऑलरेज स्पीकर श्री अमित व्यास सर मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर डेयरी इंजीनियरिंग डेयरी आनंद डॉक्टर जे वी पारेख सर इंटरनेशनल कंसल्टेंट टू डेयरी एंड फूड इंडस्ट्री डॉक्टर वार्सनिक पी जी वार्सनिक सर डीन कॉलेज ऑफ डेयरी टेक्नोलॉजी वरुद पुसर ऑल एग्जीक्यूटिव मेंबर्स एंड लाइफ मेंबर्स ऑफ आइडिया माई कलीग्स एंड ऑल दी पार्टिसिपेंट्स इट इज माई प्राउड प्रिविलेज टू प्रपोज अ वॉट ऑफ थैंक्स ऑन दी कंप्लीशन ऑफ आइडिया वेबिनार ऑन डिजिटलाइजेशन इन मिल्क प्रोक्योरमेंट प्रोसेसिंग एंड मार्केटिंग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर वेरी थैंकफुल टू डॉक्टर एन एच केलावाला सर हु कुड नॉट ज्वाइन ही ट्राइड टू ज्वाइन बट ड्यू टू सम टेक्निकल रीजन ही कुड नॉट ज्वाइन बट ही अलाउ अस फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग दीज प्रोग्राम एट अवर कॉलेज सो आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल टू यू टू सर वी एक्सटेंड अवर सिंसियर थैंक्स टू श्री मिनेश शाह सर फॉर एक्सेप्टिंग अवर इन्विटेशन फॉर बिकमिंग द चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ द फंक्शन It is very difficult to spare time at the position of chairman and the chairman. But whenever we invite you, you come at our college and motivate us. So we are very thankful to you, sir. We are very thankful to Dr. J. B. Upadhyay, sir, for taking lead for organizing idea webinar at our college and keeping faith on me for organizing the seminar and guiding me at different stages of seminar organizing. Thanks are due to. श्री एस सी अग्रवाल सर प्रेसिडेंट आइडिया फॉर कंटिन्यूस हेल्पिंग मी ड्यूरिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द सेमिनार एंड ही गिव मी ऑल फ्रीडम टू डू वॉट एवर वी वॉन्ट टू ड्यूरिंग दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ वेबिनार आई एम ऑल्सो थैंकफुल टू डॉक्टर आई के सानी सर इवन ही इज एट कैनेडा एंड देर इज प्रॉब्लम इन द टाइमिंग देन ऑल्सो एट अर्ली मॉर्निंग एट फाइव ए एम you attended the program and uh, continuously you give your presence so i am very thankful to you sir i am also very thankful to sri rk chok sir for so detailed concluding remark okay if suppose someone have not attended the program or they have not listened to the all the speaker they if they also if we you have Uh, uh, concluded all the things, all the points from the all the speakers. So I am very thankful to you, sir. We are also thankful to all the late speakers, Sri Amit Das sir, Dr. J B Parikh sir, Dr. P G Vasnik sir for sharing their expertise in area of digital digitalization in milk procurement, processing, packaging, and marketing in dairy industry. We extend our sincere thanks to all executive and life member of Idea for their gracious presence in the webinar. We also extend our sincere thanks to all the faculty members of our college for participating in the webinar. We are also thankful to all the participants for watching the live webinar on YouTube. There is some technical issue, but there are issue related to internet, so we could not. Continuously stream on YouTube, but we have recorded a whole video of Google Meet, so we will upload on the Idea website also as well as on the YouTube. We are also thankful to effort, acknowledge the efforts of time devoted by Miss Vrinda Goswami. We are also thankful to Mr. Vikara Lwalani for online streaming of the YouTube. We thankful, we thank all and all. Who directly or indirectly involved to make this event a grand success? Thank you, thank you, everyone. Okay, so by this we are completing this idea webinar. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you, sir.